Hello everyone, welcome to MG Academy. The next topic in data structure is linked list. Okay, so linked list is a linear data structure. You can write it linear data structure. Okay, it is a linear data structure. So in my previous lectures, we have seen two linear data structures that is stack and queue. And today we will see next linear data structure that is Linked list. Okay. Now starting with the definition. Linked list is a linear data structure. As I have said, like stack and queue, this is also linear data structure. Consisting a collection of nodes. The linked list consists of collection of nodes, which together represent a sequence. These nodes together make a sequence. Okay. The elements of linked list are called as nodes. Can write here as elements of nodes are called as nodes. Okay, and this is the representation of a node. A node consists of two fields. The first field is called as a data field, and the second field is called as the address field. Okay, so this first field is the data field. So this data field will consist of value and the value can be of any data type, integer, character, float, any. Okay. So this data field will consist of actual value. Okay. So it consists of value and value can be of any data type, integer, character, float, and Okay. And this is the address field. This address field will consist of the address of the next node. So this is a pointer field. This will point to the next node. So this is a pointer field. Address field is nothing but the pointer field. Okay. And this will contain address of the next node. Address of next node. So, this is a node. Node consists of two fields, data field and address field, which is also called as pointer field. Okay, now let us consider three nodes. Okay, we will consider three nodes and I am showing how the link list is actually grouped. So, we consider three nodes. So let me draw it. One, two, and three. And the number of nodes can increase or decrease, that is, shrink or grow as per our demand. If you want some more nodes, then you can increase the number of nodes, and if you want to delete some nodes, then you can delete it as per your demand, as per your need. Okay. So these are three nodes. Now we will insert data in these three nodes. So we will first fill up the data field with values 10, 20, and 30. And the next field is the address field. So for inserting this field, we have to first allocate what address to each of the nodes. So we will write here address. The address of node, first node is 1000. The address of second node is 2000 and the address of third node is 3000. Okay, so now we all we have at data as well as address. Okay, now what will be included in this block? This block will consist of address of next node. The next node is 20 and the address of 20 is 2000. So here we will write 1000 and when we will write 2000 this will create a link to the next node. This node will lead you to this node with the help of this address. Okay. For example if you want to give a message to your friend. You have a message and you want to pass it to your another friend. So for that reason you should have some uh, you know address, address or phone number of that friend. 
so that you can pass the message to to that friend isn't it so like similarly uh, if you want to go from this node to this you should have a address of the next node if, similarly if you want to go from this node to this you should have the address of this last node isn't it so we will write here 3000 and after reading this 3000 we will know the next node is 30 isn't it now after 30 there are no nodes isn't it so the address field of last node will be null okay so we can write here as null isn't it this is how a link list is form it is a sequence of nodes see the collection of nodes creating a sequence isn't it now if you want to uh, you know there is one head node so that node will be the reference to the first node like first node holds the address of second node second node holds the address of third node similarly there should be something that will hold the address of first node so address of first node is 1000 so here there will be a field uh, sorry node head head node so this is not a separate node this node is just a reference to the first node okay so here there will be a and, and this node will point to the first node it will contain the address of first node this head is the reference to the this head is the reference to the first node okay this is how a link list is represented and the elements of link list are not stored in contiguous memory location okay which means the uh, nodes can be stored anywhere into the memory wherever they will find uh, free space the nodes will be stored in that position it is not necessary that the nodes will be stored in adjacent memory location as in array in array there is contiguous memory location and in link list non contiguous okay understood now let us see how the declaration of node takes place okay so we'll consider a node we know node consists of two fields first field is the data field and the next field is the address field which consists of the address of next node it is a pointer field yes and the data field it holds the actual value and that value can be of any type integer float etc means it can be of any type isn't it so you can see that a single node consists of two types two types in one node isn't it so for declaration of node we require a data type that can accept multiple elements of different data type isn't it and in data structure there is a user defined data type that is structure which can accept multiple elements of different data type so with the help of structure we will declare a node okay so for that we can write struct node struct is the keyword and node is the name of data type okay now the members of this structure so you can see a node consists of two fields therefore here there will be two members the first one is integer data for example if we are storing integer value in this node 10, 20, 30, like these values we are storing in, suppose. So, we will take integer data type, okay. Now, the next is a pointer. So, for that reason, we want a pointer, isn't it? So, we can write here as struct node pointer next. So, this next is the name of a pointer. You can take any, like link, whatever. Okay, so these are the 
two members of this structure now you might be thinking why i have to struck node isn't it so consider integer pointer p now what does it mean that this is a pointer so pointer p will hold address of integer variable isn't it similarly float pointer f what does it mean that f will store address of a floating variable isn't it now similarly here next now next is a pointer which will hold address of the another node isn't it there is one node after this there will be one more node suppose and then the address field of this node will consist of the address of the next node isn't it so this next will hold address of another node isn't it so hence the data type is struct node this complete is a data type struct node is a data type okay and then so this is how the declaration of a node takes place okay now let us see what are the advantages and disadvantages of linked list so starting with the advantages the first one is linked list is dynamic in nature dynamic means uh, the memory is allocated at run time and if memory is allocated at run time there is no limitation for allocation we can allocate memory as per our requirement okay so this is the first advantage the second is insertion and deletion is easier in linked list inserting a node into the linked list or deleting a node from linked list is easier for example consider this consider there are three nodes okay like this elements address the address okay now this node will consist of address of the next node that is 2000 this node will contain address of next node and here there will be null okay so there are three nodes and now we want to insert another node into this linked list so consider this node suppose this is a node 5 and we want to insert it into this linked list after this node 10 so what we have to do we simply have to write here the okay the address of this node is suppose 4000 okay so we simply have to write here instead of 2000 4000 so that this node will point to this so here we can write 4000 we will remove 2000 from here and we'll write 4000 and now this node will not point here this node will point here and this node will consist of address of this node that is 2000 and now this node will point here so in this way a node can be easily inserted into this linked list isn't it so insertion and deletion is easier third is efficient memory utilization it means no need to pre allocate memory like uh, in array first we have to mention the size of array isn't it uh, in array we write here as integer a of 50 okay so here we are giving the size of array like in advance we are you know initializing its size so uh, with linked list there is no such need of you know pre allocate memory the fourth is linear data structure like stack and queue can be easily implemented various linear data structures like stack and queue they can be easily implemented using linked list okay now the disadvantages of linked list the first disadvantage is pointer require extra memory for storage we know a structure of node it consists of data field as well as address field and this address field consists of pointer to the next node isn't it so for every node there are two fields so along with the data there is one more field which is pointing to the next node so this field is a total wastage of memory 
this field is responsible for extra memory and therefore memory wastage is occur the second is no random access we cannot access the nodes of linked list randomly for example if we want to access this node this last node so we cannot directly you know access this node we have to follow sequence first with the help of the held which will contain the reference to the first node we can access this node after this this after this this node and finally the node which we want to access so for accessing the last node we have to also go through the other nodes isn't it so there is no random access there is sequential access so this is one more disadvantage in case of array if there is a array of five elements for instance 1 2 3 4 5 and if we want to access 3 so we can easily reach out 3 with the help of the base address isn't it but in linked list we have to follow the entire link to reach the required node third is reverse traversing is difficult we cannot reverse traverse easily back tracking is difficult see it is easy to go from year to year but if we want to backtrack like from 30 to 20 then 10 so this is very difficult so backtracking is difficult even if it is a doubly linked list in that case also reverse traversing is difficult because in doubly linked list the structure of node is somewhat like this isn't it there are three fields in the node this is for previous node this field will point to the previous node this field will point to the next node and this field will contain the data so again this you know extra for extra you know pointer field we have to waste extra memory so reverse traversing is difficult in linked list so these are the various advantages and disadvantages of linked list okay so that's it for today hope you understood my today's lecture and if so then give this video a big thumbs up subscribe to my channel and share it with your friends